This has got to be one of the most vibrant Pixar films yet. Luca was released in 2021 and is by Enrica Casarosa. It's about two sea monster boys who venture into the forbidden surface and they slowly realize that things aren't as they were told. And Pixar nowadays has been seeming to lose a lot of their steam, or in better words has become a lot more inconsistent as they tend to make just as many misses as they do hits. So my question is, which side of the spectrum will Luca land on? So Luca definitely is different from a lot of other Pixar films, as it's not some sort of grand adventure, and it's really just a tale about two boys hanging out and the story of their friendship which is a theme many other films have explored, but this one does it especially effectively. This movie's plot is also split up into two parts. The first half is mainly them exploring the surface, and the second half is them trying to complete the race. And despite how jarring that may sound, I feel like each one of them is good in their own way and fit the movie perfectly, and the transition between the two plots never really felt jarring as it was always built up. And one thing I really liked about this movie is how it set up multiple different plot points at once and it never felt like it was overcrowding the story as you can feel like all of them were going to culminate into one big giant finale. And did this movie do that? Not really, as I do feel like it wraps up a bit too quickly. That being said, it is still one tearful ending and it will definitely make you sob if you cry it for every other Pixar film. But not like in a depressing way, more like a happy sad way. Luca is such a lovable protagonist. He isn't the best from Pixar, but he certainly stands up on his own, and his character arc is one that really changes throughout the story. Like a normal character arc would be a character going from place A to place B, but Luca goes from A to B to C to D to whatever. And despite all these changes, it still feels very smooth. And Alberto, well, he's a real one, and just as great as Luca, and his character arc is arguably even better than his. And as you might expect, Alberto and Luca do have a falling out scene, but I don't feel like it's unoriginal like many other animated films, as it actually has a very solid build up and execution. And the side characters also each felt unique and lively in their own way, none of them really felt boring, but I do think the antagonist of this movie is rather dumb, and aside from being very extra, he has no other traits really. But hey, this movie never really needed a great antagonist to tell its story. The animation of this film is so beautiful. It's probably the most colorful and vibrant animated film I've ever seen. And I really like that the character designs don't look like your average animated movie as well. Cough Cough the Boss Baby. Like it's similar, but distinct in its own way. And the soundtrack is also great. It really had me tearing up in a couple scenes. And the presentation overall does a perfect job at building the setting of this movie. Like if you didn't already notice, recent animated films have tended to be a lot more multicultural, making the stories take place in Mexico or India or China or Russia or whatever you want. And in this particular setting, it really makes you feel like you're in Italy. So in conclusion, I'll give Luca an 8 out of 10 and recommend it to anybody who wants a heartfelt but low-key story about friendship. And Luca is honestly a great return to form for Pixar, as I feel like a lot of films these days, especially kids ones, have become plagued with wacky concepts, grand plots, and adultification, which is basically trying to appeal to an older audience. But this is just a simple movie with a simple message that really excels in its execution. And sure it may not be the best Pixar film ever made, but it is certainly memorable. And this is a studio that really needs no introduction, making genre defining films one after the other. Even though Luca might not be one of these films, it certainly fits right in when it comes to quality. 